hello guys and welcome back to my channel i finally have enough kitchen waste to start using my in bed composting system this was a diy system that i created myself using a uh, seven and a half gallon storage totes that i got from the container store in this garden bed here is mostly peppers and tomatoes and we all know that tomatoes are heavy feeders so instead of me coming out fertilizing the garden once a week I'm gonna trial out just feeding this composting bin, getting the worms and everything in here so that they can start traveling throughout this bed and help with um, aerating the soil and breaking down other organic matter. So I have my food scraps in. When I compost, I normally just do a one-to-one -one ratio, you know, 50% carbon, 50% nitrogen. And living in an urban setting, it's really hard finding the brown material um, just around my yard and stuff we don't have too many trees and things hanging around so it makes it a little challenging when trying to find the brown materials so for my browns for today i am using some paper towels that i used around my house they are some biodegradable brown paper towels and then throughout the week sometimes i go to like the grocery stores and things like that to pick up other brown materials but lately i've been working from home so i've been trying to source things around my house as far as my brown material normally i cut up my food scraps into smaller pieces but i didn't do it this time i'm using some worm tea concentrate to help jump start the decomposition and then over here is where i keep my verma composting bin and my other two composting bins my larger composting bins i use those for a larger like garden waste and stuff like that not necessarily kitchen scraps the kitchen scraps i break up and i give some to the worms and then the other scraps i bury inside of my garden beds so here is my worm bin i'm just gonna worm nap a couple of these worms these are red wigglers and i'm gonna put them in my in bed composting bin and i don't want to take too many of them so i'm just gonna take like a little handful like this now that little handful of worms is not enough to start breaking down all the food in this bin. However, what I'm hoping is that the worms that are already in this bed are going to start migrating this way through all of those holes and break, start breaking down this material. So that is it. This is my first year using these in-bed composting bins. I'm hopeful that they will work and down the line um, I'm hoping that it will also reserve as an additional resource so that I can start shifting my garden over to more natural methods. My goal overall in the garden is to switch this garden over to just natural gardening methods. You know I don't want to keep going to the store and having to buy fertilizers and compost and all of those things those things can really add up and over time you know those indigenous microorganisms in your area are going to do a lot better job than the stuff you buy in the store anyway and that goes for compost as well you know that store-bought compost i don't know what's going on this year but it is not <laughs> composting the way i want it to so um that's my rant for the day Oh, look, a ladybug. That's so exciting because this is my aphid table. And to see a ladybug over here or lady beetle, whatever you want to call them, over here just doing his thing makes me really happy. So that is all for this video today. Steven was nice enough to shred up some more. He found some of these Trader Joe's bags and he shredded them up for me. So... I'm going to put them over here in this compost bin because this compost bin is pretty smelly. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to growing with you this season. Happy gardening.